Are you sick of getting sick in Daisy? Yes, I did that on purpose. Hello everyone, my name is Bimod99, and I'm here to cure you from your everlasting loop of spawn, get sick, and die. Today, I'm going to share a handful of tips and tricks to help you avoid illness in Daisy. Whether you are hiking deep into the thick forests of Livonia, sneaking through the cities of Chernaris, or traversing the cold modded maps of Daisy, you're going to need to maintain your temperature. Being cold for too long will result in a cold, <laughs> which can cause you to cough, shiver, sneeze, and develop a fever. Avoid this. One of the first things you should be looting for are warm clothes. During the early stages of your life, you should be taking anything that's better than the low or bad insulation clothes that you spawn with. Shoes, gloves, hats, masks, all contribute to this as well. Covering your entire body will help you solve your body temp issue. Also note that damaged clothing items give you a lowered insulation rating than the pristine or worn conditions. If you're lucky enough to find yourself a handful of vitamins, take them while your temperature is light blue or dark blue, and you have a chance to help prevent your character from developing a cold. This is not nearly 100% effective, but it can be helpful in potentially prolonging your health until you find the right gear set. If all else fails, you can quickly make yourself a fire to keep warm. Fires are great temporary solutions to staying warm and sometimes even to survive a night. After a short period of time, you'll even see a little white plus next to your temperature bar. This means you have what we call the heat buff. This little indicator means that you'll stay warm and toasty for up to 10-ish minutes after you leave the comfort of your fire. Use this to your advantage, but not too often. Fires attract unwelcome visitors. In the end, if you develop this sometimes unavoidable cold or fever, you can take vitamins or tetracycline to cure yourself. Sometimes the sickness will be cured and then reappear despite your t temperature solution. This, I think, is due to your clothes having those virtual germs on them. So once you cure yourself, it's probably best to switch up your outfit, just in case. Another big mistake that I see a lot of new players make is that they'll eat food with bloody hands or they eat raw meat. Doing this can give you food poisoning and make it near impossible to eat without throwing up and rapidly starving slash dehydrating. Here's what you can do in order to prevent that from happening or cure and manage this sickness. If this has happened before and you want to prevent it from happening again, make sure that you always cook meat that you get from animals. It not only makes the food safe to eat, but it also drastically improves the caloric value, aka how much your food meter goes up. Every time you gut something, you get bloody hands. Consuming any kind of food with bloody hands will make you sick, and cause you to constantly vomit when you eat or drink. You can prevent your hands from getting messy if you wear gloves. However, if your hands are bloody and you think wearing gloves over the blood will make it safe to eat, you're wrong. Anytime you have bloody hands, you can simply wash them at a water source. If you somehow find yourself with food poisoning, don't worry, you can manage it. What you'll need are some charcoal tabs, which can be found at any medical spawn site, and you can take them to cure your sickness. But what if you can't find them? What can you do until you find them? Well, you can take little nibbles of food. When eating or drinking with the sickness, you can make it two to three white circles without vomiting. Do this, stop, wait for the white arrows above your food and water meter to go down again, and repeat the process. This can get annoying, but it will save you from dying of dehydration or starvation until you can find the right kind of meds. Something else you may not know is that all water you find is poop sewage. That's right, all the water in ponds, lakes, rivers, and even the water that spawns in canteens and bottles is yuck as fuck. In order to drink clean water, here's what you need to do. The easiest thing you can do is fill an empty container, a bottle, canteen, or even a cooking pot with well water, and boom. You have easy access to unlimited clean water. You can also use your hands to access the water and drink it, but don't stick around too long. Wells are very commonplace for everyone. If you find yourself isolated in a dense forest without a well in sight, but there happens to be a lake or creek nearby, you can make that water safe to consume. There are two ways to do this. 
one. You can fill a container with poop water and combine the container with a stack of chlorine tablets. These magic tabs turn poop sewage into yummy, healthy spring water, aka safe for you to drink. Two, you can also use a campfire tripod to attach to an outdoor fire pit and boil water that way. And this is also a great way to cook food on the fly. You ever get bopped by a zombie and your character makes an awful Burr! sound? That's because you, my friend, have a wound infection. Here's how you can fix or avoid this problem. If you're fighting a Zed and it hits you, causing a bleed, you need to make sure you bandage yourself with a disinfected bandage or rag. Bandages do spawn in hospitals or medical buildings and usually are disinfected. But if you find rags or have a dirty bandage, make sure to use iodine, alcohol tincture, or disinfectant spray to disinfect your bleed stoppers. If you use dirty bandages or allow your wound to heal without stopping it yourself, you will likely develop a wound infection. If you do get this wound infection, you can clean up the cut early on with any type of disinfectant. However, if you let the filth progress, you will need tetracycline in order to cure yourself. So make sure you're taking care of your wound properly. Well guys, I think that just about covers the basics in terms of sickness, prevention, and solutions. If there's an illness I missed or a remedy you know of that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed, want more guides, or even want a new channel for some sick DayZ content, bro, why don't you drop a like and hit the sub button? Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.